try and wind up my bank, right? I love winding up my bank, right? Because, you know, don't put fun people to deal with, right? I'll give you an example of what you can do to have a bit of a laugh with your bank, right? Give you an example. My bank in Ireland, the Bank of Ireland, have been looking for me for about six months, right? Ringing me up, missed calls on the phone, trying to get me to talk to them about using the overdraft. The overdraft that they gave me. You think they'd fucking look at themselves first before they start having a go at you, right? <laughs> like you wouldn't put a heroin addict into a factory full of heroin, would you? Of course you're going to use the overdraft. It's there for a laugh, right? So I decided what I do is that every time I speak to this guy from the Bank of Ireland, every time he rings me up, every time he asks me a personal and security question, I'm going to give him all the wrong answers. And they'll never be able to speak to you ever again, right? They shit themselves when you don't even know your own date of birth, right? I swear to God. It is the best conversation you'll ever have in your entire life, right? This guy rings me up from the Bank of Ireland, Brian, a proper bell end, right? You know the kind of guy that wears a scarf in a nightclub? You know what it knows, fellas? Drinks a Malibu and milk, right? You know what it knows, fellas, right? He rings me up from Dublin and he goes, Hello, Mr. Ryan, this is Brian here from the Bank of Ireland, Dublin. What's the story? Do I need to do another Irish accent on the top of the one I'm doing at the moment? <laughs> Are you happy with the current one? Right, okay. I got one even there. It was great. So I decided that every time I speak to this guy, he asks me a question, I'm going to give him all the wrong answers. Be a bit of crack, right? Be a bit of a laugh, right? So he raises me and goes, Hello, this is Brian here from the Bank of Ireland. I said, Jesus, Brian, how are things? <laughs> he goes, We need to talk to you about your account. I said, Brian, this sounds serious. <laughs> He goes, before I continue, I need to ask you a few security questions. And I fucking fire away, kid. I cannot lose this phone call, right? He goes, can you just confirm to me what your current date of birth is? I was like, what, the current one? Jeez, I wrote it down there somewhere last week. I don't know what I did with this. I have to find this, right? So I decided just to give the wrong answers, you know, just for a bit of a laugh. So I went, my current date of birth, Jesus, it's um, the 1st of July, 1990. <laughs> he goes, oh, no, 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 no. He goes, I'm afraid that's not on the system. I said, Jesus, Brian, I'm fucking gutted for you. <laughs> I says, can I guess again? <laughs> can I guess my date of birth again, Brian? He goes, no, I'm very sorry, I can only accept your first answer. I said, right, well, what happens now? He says, I'm going to have to ask you another question. I'm like, fire away, mate. We will be here all day, right? That's ridiculous. And he goes, can you just confirm to me what the first line of your address is? I said, it's six. He said, well, what comes after that? I said, seven. <laughs> and you got a job in a bank. <laughs> This doesn't work out. He goes, no, he says, what comes after that in terms of your address? He goes, he goes, what, the second line of the address? He goes, yes, what's the second line of your address? He said, I'm very sorry, Brian, I can only accept your first question. 